There are a ton of new features coming with Fontaine in version 4.0 and from this special program we got to learn many of the new mechanics and items we can expect. In this video we are going to dive deep into what to expect as what the dev team spoke about was only scratching the surface. A friendly reminder that everything is leak free and all information is based on what is provided in the special program and IGN's Fontaine gameplay, both linked down below. Let us start off with the characters, we get to have a better look at the characters we meet in Fontaine and even learn that Navia is going to be a claymore user and Clorinde is going to wield the sword. However, when it comes to Glorind, I don't think this is strictly the case. Child, who is a master of weaponry, he even has a passive that directly says so, is said to have a desire to spar with Clorinde. We also learn that Clorinde's profession is champion duelist, meaning that she is also talented with various weaponry. This could hint that Clorinde's kit is actually going to feature more than one weapon type, the same as Child. There's also something that we learn about Fontanian characters and that is their visions tell us their arche or affinity alignment. For those who don't know, Fontaine uses Numacia reactions to power basically everything and every Fontaine character with a vision is aligned with either Numa or Osia. Characters who have a clockwise wave looping around their vision are Numa aligned and characters who have a counter or anti-clockwise loop around their vision are Osia aligned. From this special program, we learn that Fremene, Lene and Charlotte are Numa aligned and Lynette, Navia and Clorinda are Osia aligned. The alignment is not where it ends. Each character will trigger their affinity effect with certain attacks and their visions are the indicators when those attacks are available. Numa characters will have a white aura around their vision while the Osea characters will have a purple aura. From the gameplay, this only seems to show during combat. This next mechanic wasn't even spoken about but it definitely seems like it could be game changing and that is anti-healing or HP locks. There is gameplay of this red HP symbol in some clips that seems to prevent a certain percentage of your character's HP from being healed and it is also character specific and not party wide. And while we're on the topic of combat and characters, did you notice that there was Hydro Traveler gameplay even though they didn't mention anything? Thing about the Hydro MC. During the event previews, we get to see a glimpse of Hydro MC's burst and skill. This next one does tie in with Hydro MC and it could be a result of there being no mention of Hydro MC, but we only get a glimpse of the Hydro statue of the Seven. From this glimpse, we can see that the idol on the statue is very different compared to how the other nations portray them. And if you've seen the IGN footage, then you would have seen a full close-up version of the Statue of the Seven. And speaking of fast travel points, there will be Seelies and Waypoints underwater. So we can indeed fast travel to a point underwater, which makes me wonder if you can place your portable waypoints in the water as well. This next one is something to do with Ancient Fontaine, and I'm sure it will tie into the lore of Fontaine, but there is what seems to be a dormant oceanid on this building. If you listen carefully, during the two instances this area is shown, you'll hear the word fossil, melancholy and tears, meaning that this is a lonely place and could be the resting place of something from Fontaine's past. Back to the lively city of Fontaine filled with shops and entertainment, there are new dog types that will be available and they are not just the clockwork maker looking dogs, they can be seen for a few frames in the background. There is also a look at Charlotte and the Steambird, believe it or not, we get a look at the Steambird logo and the headquarters. Also while mentioning Charlotte, she can be seen with this board that is outside the Steambird building which does have a hidden message. The top segment translates to exclusive compilation of the past top duelists, the bottom segment translates to iridescence tour and the new trend of music and the middle segment translates to interview with the debord restaurant artist now if you're wondering what debord is it refers to hotel debord which we get to see in game and as one of the areas that we were seated during the special program funny enough another detail you may have missed there is a broken prop shelf in the background of one of the areas lastly we do have some new tcg cards namely albedo chi chi and lisa that is going to be everything I noticed from the special program. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you in the next video.